Hello everyone, my name is Bokusatsu and here and today, why I say that to time, today we're here to review the, uh, not Tokusatsu toy, no, 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 <laughs> but a comic book toy. Wait, what? Right, today we're here to review the Mayfex Metacon Symbiote Spider-Man. Now, I want, uh, I, I want to say this. I have my fair share of good Spider-Man figures. Some good, some bad, some not so good. But this guy takes the cake. And I say that because this it, this figure felt like I was playing with a really good Spider-Man figure. Wait, what? Hold on, Booker. Are you saying he's garbage? No, 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 no. No, no. He's fucking amazing. But you'll see what I'm talking about when we get into the review. All right, though. So, first off, for those who are going to ask, this blue shading. Yes. Yes, there is. There's a, there is a lot of blue shading on this bad boy. You can honestly tell that Mayfax, that Metacon took a lot of inspiration from the comic book. Duh, of course, it's a comic book figure. And also, it had the blue feet, which are common accurate, which are common accurate because, oh, Fun fact, this version of Spider-Man based off the Todd McFarlane art for uh, Spider-Man, so... So that, I'm gonna say that's pretty bad, but at the same time... Yeah, no. Cool, con cool, that's fucking awesome. I still don't like you, Todd. So, can he figure pose and all that? Well, yes, yes he can. But, uh, here's his, like, here's his ab crunch. This is how far... Ooh. This is how far he goes. Down from there. Down from there. This is how far his arms goes up. Yeet. <laughs> this is how far his legs go. I will say, he's a little tight. My copy is. But I found a way to get past it, and uh, and uh, that actually works. See, this is, this is how far his legs go. Now, if you want to pose him, you can do that. You could do that. You can pose him to like any pose you want to. Just, all I'm gonna say is this. Be careful with how you pose him at, at, at the same time because this didn't happen to my copy, but uh, I have a feeling that if you pose, if you like do a, do a pose that you can't get out of, the legs might break and uh, we, I don't want, I don't want like no one's toy to break, so yeah. For like I will say, speaking of break, uh, yeah, this happens a lot. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, I can fix it. See? But yeah, that does have a lot to my copy of the figure. <sighs> this figure, this figure, damn, this figure... Damn, this figure feels like that. This figure feels like that. I'm holding a. I'm holding the comic book cover of the first time this suit appeared in the in the comics, which was the Secret War arc. You know, uh, man. For those who don't know, the symbiote suit is my favorite suit for Spider-Man, and uh, having this costume so good, so. so it's so fucking good. I love it. Alright.
So they come in any accessory. Come in a lot of stuff, in fact. So just to get this out of the way, we're gonna do we're, we're, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the freaking webbing first. Actually, no, we're not. <laughs> The web, the web do not want to come out of the fucking uh, box. So we're gonna change that. Bam! That just happened. You, you can't see, but I just took out all the webs and hands out of the box. So yeah. All right. So first off, we have his uh, somewhat open grab hand. He can, you can do like for you could do like for pictures like I don't know. If you want, if you want Spider-Man to crawl, like, like, well, actual spider, you can do that. And also, do you remember, also, do you remember, do you guys know about that, that one iconic Spider-Man pose from Spider-Man 3 and him looking down the rain in the symbiote suit? You can recreate that with this figure. And I see, I saw a lot of toy photographers do, do it, does it, did it as well. And, uh, I love that. I love that creativity. So you can use these hands for that. My bad. You have his uh, you can have his his uh, his grab hands. So you can put the webs on. <laughs> so yes, with these hands. You can make Spider-Man do any pose you want to of him stringing around New York City. <laughs> what else? Oh yeah. You have his open hand. You 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 have his like his open flash hand. You can make him do for that one pose from the comic, the first time Simeon Suit appears, which is well, I guarantee it's a picture. On your screen right now, I'm sure what I'm referencing, referencing. So yeah, but at the same time, these these hands can be these hands can be used for anything you want. So yeah, <laughs> and we have the iconic we have the iconic hand pose with him doing this. <laughs> I'm already figured by the way, if I haven't told you, but yeah. I also find it interesting how Medicon gave us gave us for this release a uh magnet magnet uh foot shoes foot yeah shoes it's because anything like magnet related if that if that like if that like anything that is a freaking magnet you can put this bad boy on his feet. Same goes for the hands right here. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and we have his book bag. His book bag. <laughs> his freaking book bag. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Why are you having a hard time not wanting to get in there? What the heck? Ha! And I broke the book bag. That's wonderful. Nice work, Aaron. Huh. <laughs> Rebecca, I'm not lying. I actually <laughs> broke the book bag. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to keep that off him. Way to go, Aaron. Ay, ay, ay. All right. He, oh, fuck. He also comes with a lot of webs. And two heads. All right, I'll show the heads first. Face ghost, my bad. I should have said face ghost. So we have uh, this, uh, so we have this Peter Parker head that looks, like he like it looked like the man having shaved for a while. 
Because damn, bro, it makes sense though. He has an alien parasite all over him. So I can't be mad about that. And we also have this uh this full menace face as well, cause it look like he look like he's about to kill someone. Maybe Kingpin. Well to be fair, he did whoop Kingpin he did he did whoop, he did whoop Kingpin's butt in that uh comic. <laughs> oh god, all these jokes, god damn it. Here we have a uh here we have like a long rep. Okay. Here are the reps we have for him. Put this on. Put this on one of the grab hands, and uh, you can make Spider-Man string like he's in New York City. New York City, Manhattan, whatever the hell it's called. Same go for all. Same go for like all the. I was I'm actually impressed, Mayfix. How? How yet? Yeah, uh, yeah, you made it. You made it to give us a lot of sensory for this release. Here are some. Uh, here are some other ones. You can make him do as well. You can put on him, and he comes with a uh, with a stand. You can use like for pictures and all that. Now I did now we will you will see the picture cause I have a, I did use them for freaking stands. So yeah. Oh okay, that's great. Here you go. And here we have like a Clarification bag to say to show that this is actually a real item, not a bootleg. So now, now we're done with all the accessories. Time to go into my favorite part of the video, which is almost the end as well. Size comparison because we have a lot to compare with. So this figure. So we also have this figure that came out this year as well, which is still my favorite Marvel Legend figure to this day. But uh. That's just my opinion. We have the Marvel Legend symbiote Spider Man. Whoa, there, that's crazy. They're almost the same height. Yeah, no, not really. Well, to be fair, you could do pictures of him fighting Marvel Legend. You could use them for pictures when you find a, a villain from a Marvel from the Marvel Legend toy line. I did it in my picture. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, here he is with uh with, with the Marvel Legends Wolverine. Huh. I'm getting a Web of Shadows vibe from this picture. <laughs> and here he is with uh, Captain America. Here we go. Oh damn that. That looks sexy right there. The streak. The best team for Marvel. Don't at me. Fuck. That looks really sexy right there. Here he is with, with, with SA figure Dolphin Motaro that I reviewed last year. Last year. Last, last time. <laughs> My bad. Here he is with here he is with uh with Lord Draken. Oh, I have a hard time with this. Let me uh yeet though, right? He's still pretty well with both of them. Well, to be fair, one's an import, one isn't. Here, here with some with some common writers. Here, 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 here with the Sinkoku Seiho Shadow Moon or Moon of Shadows. See, so Samuel, hey, hey, you y'all watch Black Sun? I highly recommend it. It's really, it's really fucking good. Here, here with the SA Figure Art Hirobi. 
Still can't get over how I have a Roby. Damn, we have to stand pretty well with both of them. Holy shit. <laughs> Excuse my language, but but for real though, he stands pretty well. He stands pretty well with both of them. Alright. Move that out of the way. And yeah guys, that's the review. Now anyway, where did you get Broku? Where did you get this figure? Alright, so here's the thing. I had to cancel my pre-order on this guy on Amiami, sadly, due to the fact that I'm saving money. I still am saving money, by the way. And, uh, I was mad. I was mad. I was really mad and bummed out that I could get him. And then Big Bad Toys will have him for pre-order. I tried to go on there and pre-order him. He sold out that fast. Then I waited, like, a couple of weeks and days for him to go back up on there, and he did. I put him, I, I, I had a chance, I put him in a pile of loot, and, uh, and after that, I just wait for Big Bad Toy Tour to ship this fucker, and, uh, yeah, he did. The figures on, if you make the pre-order, don't worry, the figures on Big Bad Toy Store, so you, so you too don't have to suffer while being miserable when other people are having fun with this figure, you, you can have your own copy as well. So yeah, honestly, this figure gets a, this figure. He has a few problems, like for real, like he he has a few problems with being tight and all that. But I don't have like a lot of negatives for this figure. <laughs> no. Hello, uh, editing broke you here. Uh, while filming that part of a while trying to save the figure, my uh, phone stopped recording. So I'm going to I'm just going to say it here. If you if you want the figure, if you love Spider Man, go get him. He's a really good figure, and I guarantee you have a fun time with him, just like I did. Well, I have him right here next to me, so yeah, he's a really fun figure. If you love toy photography and all that, get him. If you're a Marvel fan, get the figure. But it, but honestly, if you don't want to pay that much, the Marvel Legend actually a good alternative. It's a good one for you as well. Because imports imports are expensive as heck, but the more Legends one only costs one hundred twenty bucks, so it's up with that too. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Uh, if you uh, like, if you like, comment and subscribe. Follow all my social media in the description and put a notification on for the next video. Then y'all good. But for newcomers, pre do that. Pre do everything I just said as well. Because well, twenty twenty two. It's almost over. And next year, I have I have a lot of goals to achieve, and uh, with your guys' help, I can do it. So yeah, my name's Aaron, and I'm out. Ciao. Searching all along, can face in twilight only.